Ladies and gentlemen, if you've never charged your car at a charge point, this is gonna be for a Tesla specifically because we are gonna be using an adapter. Definitely watch my other video about how to load up a charge point account. I still have a balance on mine from my previous EV, even though I moved out of state. This Tesla is a rental, and so this is gonna apply for you. So definitely watch that other video. You have to create an account, link up a debit card. I think it's a minimum of $10 charge, and then they'll reduce you $10 once you get to a certain point. Okay, I'm getting pretty low on this Tesla. Now this is a Hertz model Y Tesla. They are all supposed to come with an adapter like this. This is a J17779 or a two on the end of that, but I believe it's a nine on the end of that. This comes in the pouch in the back underneath the mat on the Model Y for the granny charger. And this adapter, you need this. You can't use any non-Tesla chargers without the adapter. So this plug goes into this side like this. So my previous car, which was a Fiat, had a plug like this. It goes into this. And then this Tesla adapter portion right here goes in right here so what we need to do so even once you have your account you need to find exactly which charge point location this is you need to unlock it push this down that will come out once it's unlocked connect your connector and these charge points might have beefed up their accessibility um, but I believe this is for the charge point card I just unlock it with my app so let me do that now and we'll show you okay I actually had to switch stations because the other one was disabled I unlocked it from the app then it pulls out like this then the Tesla adapter goes on top like this and it'll look like this on the other side and then go ahead and plug that on in now disconnecting it you want to make sure that the adapter is not plugged in there so you want to go ahead and I'll show you how to do that when we are done we are charging right now and on the app it actually shows sorry about the light contrast it's kind of hard to see but we can see that on the app and it's going to be about four dollars I think under four dollars for about three hours of charging which is absolutely fantastic this is kind of a slower one this is only 6.2 kw instead of a supercharger which just is just beefy 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 so anyway it's right across the street from my hotel which is nice and so i'll walk back and then walk back in several hours okay folks i think we're coming up on about two and a half hours or so not as good as supercharging obviously with only 6.2 kilowatts per hour but I thought I did okay. So we're gonna go ahead and disconnect now. So let's go ahead and go into the car here and we're gonna make this the simplest, easiest way for us. Nine hours, 10 minutes remaining, 85 miles. So that, <laughs> I mean, it'll get you home, but yeah, that didn't do as, eh, didn't do as good as I anticipated, but that's okay. It is what it is. All right, 26% battery life. That's gonna get me to church. We should be okay. All right, so let's go ahead and disconnect. We want the adapter to come with us here. So we wanna loosely go ahead and pull that, see how it's not charged anymore there we go so you just barely push on this once oh, and then there's the flap so careful of the flap push on this once it'll disengage and then make sure that whole thing pulls out just like this and do not forget your adapter and then push down on this and that releases your adapter there okay let's take a look three dollars and 95 cents and two hours and 18 minutes not bad that's gonna get you home a lot cheaper than gasoline and then go ahead and push that back and then it'll deduct from your charge point account make sure you put that adapter that will self-close make sure you put that adapter back in your car and do not forget that again that's the whole reason why i had to borrow my friend's adapter is because previous renter at hertz lost it or misplaced it and that my friends is how you use an adapter with a charge point level 2 charger for any type of tesla if you are curious about this adapter and your tesla does not come with it in the description box right below the video i'm going to have this adapter link a third party one is very inexpensive that link will be below thumbs that video up if you wouldn't mind helps the channel and the youtube algorithm also subscribe if you like videos like this as well as tesla videos charging videos you guys have a great day we'll see you on the next video take care for now bye bye don't let the party stop guys hit one of these videos continue to watch we'll see you soon